Hey YouTube, it's Tyler the Antenna Man. Today I'm going to test out and review this RCA Compact Outdoor Yagi Antenna. It runs about $40 on Amazon, even comes with a mounting pole. And depending on what website you find it on, it either claims 70 or 150 mile range. It looks like RCA is jumping on the 150 mile range bandwagon, probably to compete with this piece of junk antenna that I tell people not to buy and they buy it anyway. You're not going to find an antenna that's going to get TV stations reliably from 150 miles away because guess what? The earth is curved and the signals travel in a straight line. And the further you go from the transmitters, the more you go down the curvature of the earth. So about 70, 80, 100 miles, the signals just fade into outer space and you can't really pick them up anymore. In some rare instances, people do receive TV stations from hundreds of miles away during certain rare atmospheric conditions. But overall, most TV stations don't go much further than 80 miles. So antennas that claim to be 150 miles are just very misleading. That being said, this antenna still looks pretty decent in terms of its designs. It has some UHF elements here, a little reflector, and then some high VHF elements down here. Thanks to the success of my YouTube channel and approval of my landlord, Steve, I was able to put up a small poll to test out various outdoor antenna models. And I also retested out a few of the antennas that I previously reviewed in my attic room. Here are the results so you can use it as a comparison with this RCA model. WNEP 16 was hovering around 80%, which is a very good signal to get. If you get anything above 60%, that's usually a very reliable signal. WIU is hovering around 50 to 55%. This is a little bit on the weaker end, but it still produced a reliable solid picture. WBRE had about 55 to 60% on the signal meter. Again, this is a little bit on the lower end, but still is okay to produce a solid picture. The signal strength on Fox 56 was about 43%, and it turns out that Fox 56 was having transmitter issues that day and operating at a reduced power. So this made a really good test for the outdoor antennas I tested, and this one was able to still pick it up. I rotated the antenna and was able to lock in Fox 29's low-powered repeater station at around 43 to 45%. Rotating the antenna again, I was able to lock in NJTV's low powered station at around 43 to 47%. So based on my test, this antenna would work very well as a small directional outdoor antenna. I actually tested five other outdoor antenna models. Some of them were about the same size and this one did a pretty good job. So again, this will work very well as a small directional antenna if you have yellow, green, red and a few blue signals if you use antennaweb.org as a reference. However, if you see mostly blue, purple, or no stations listed at all under the antennaweb.org reception analysis, there's a good chance the signals are too weak to be picked up with this antenna and you'll need a larger antenna in order for reliable reception. This antenna also will not pick up low VHF stations that well, which includes 6ABC in Philadelphia. In terms of the mileage range that I'd recommend this antenna, it's always hard to tell with smaller directional antennas because it varies on many factors, including the signals in your area, there's any mountains in between the signals, and how tall your house is. I would say, though, that this antenna will work best within 50 miles of the broadcast towers. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more outdoor antenna reviews. As I mentioned, I tested out five other outdoor antenna models, which I will be releasing the videos in the coming weeks. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get notifications and updates, and have an awesome day.